and welcome to another Sudoku edition of Cracking the Cryptic. Um, we're going to take a look at the Super Fiendish Now from today's Times uh, newspaper. Um, just a reminder actually, if, um, if you like the content you're seeing on the channel, uh, we'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel. It improves our numbers, makes us uh, think that what we're doing is appreciated. Uh, and tell your friends too. Um, uh, we're really keen to try and sort of grow the numbers watching the videos. So anyway, without further ado, let's take a look at this puzzle. Okay, here we go. So as usual, what I do uh, is I start to make notation. So just recording where uh, a number can only go in two positions within a three by three box. Um, and I, if that's the case, I'll write a little small number as you can see uh, in this box here to indicate that fact. And so for example, you can see I can put six into these two positions because of the six coming down and cutting off this position and this position. Um, and this, as usual, the start of a Sudoku is very much just um, doing as much of this as you can. You can see I need to place one, four, five along here in some order. Do I, in fact, that can be a five. So now we can we can fill in the one and the four here to indicate these can only go in two positions. We can still you can see here we need to place two, three, eight uh, along row three somewhere, and you can see here this now is forced to actually be the two that we were we notated earlier. Now what I can't do is put a three eight in here or a three eight in here because that would breach my uh, the rule I've just set out in terms of how I want to record my pencil marks and it, get, it can quickly start to um, become very confusing if you do start to sort of use two different sets of pencil marks when solving on a computer. It's, uh, it's a lot easier actually if you if you're doing it on pen uh, on paper, then definitely, you know, switch to a different coloured pencil or something like that. Um, lots of very very good solvers do do just that. Um, but uh, yeah, on the computer we have only a limited limited way of making pencil marks. We have to be a bit careful. Okay, so what can we now see? Playing out eight there. And therefore we've got one four six again in here. Annoyingly again. Well here here is an example of where you might you might stop using your pencil marks because you need to spot that there's a one four here and a one four here. There's, you know that's just so essential and so I, I hope people can see why that's going to be helpful because it means we can immediately limit what these three cells must be. So in this situation, um, you know, whether you want to abandon our pencil mark rule or not, you must uh, you must note this fact, and you must therefore be looking at two, three, nine in these positions. You can therefore see with this nine here checking this position, I'm able to write nine and nine here, and actually fill in two in this position here like this. Um, pencil mark is eight over here. over here that's more helpful than you might think we can now scan down using this three here that allows us to place a pencil mark in these two positions and also in these two positions Similarly with two here now, that's also locked into these positions. And there you go, that's that's actually the point that the puzzle is uh, broken open, if you like. We've now managed to lock in a two into this cell, and you can see that the advantage of this notation is that as I write a two in here, I can instantly write a three 
and a 7 in this same box. And you can see that's also going to chain over here, gives me another 7, gives me a 2 here. And all of a sudden, um, you know, we're off and running. Again, in this box here, we, we fix that there's a 3 in this position and we can instantly write the 8 in. Um, 3 down here. Um, and this, uh, you can see an 8 is forced over into the right hand side here. This box, which again allows us to place another 8. Um, this is very much the you know the way these puzzles go. There's always a tipping point, and once you find it, it's very rare for them to uh, to be able to hold out, if you like, for much longer. See, we need one and a six in this box. We can't place them yet, but we can certainly write in the pencil mark. This has got to be five in one of these positions. Very interesting, we've not actually managed to place any ones in the grid still at this point of the soul. Uh, okay, and now that there is a seven here, isn't there? So that's a seven. This is a seven. One, four, five to place up here. You can see how that allows us to place a pencil mark using the fours into this position, which actually, again, we've got exactly the same thing again, all of a sudden. We can place the 4 into this cell, this 3x3 three three box, and we can instantly go 4, 5, 6, 1, 5, 5. The only thing really we have to remember to do is to use all the numbers that we've all of a sudden been able to generate. So these positions, you've now got 138 down here, this is a 6 therefore. one and a four in this column. This one is now forcing this to be a four, which allows me to place a four and a one here and here, four and a one here and here. And now this must be the eight. This must be the eight. This must be a three. This must be a one. This must be a one. You can see how all of a sudden you can actually build up quite a head of steam um, once you make this initial breakthrough. Two, one, one, four, four, five and six to place, six and five. <laughs>